Guys, look, the uh, question has definitely been answered. It snows in the shack. So look, I think we're all guilty of watching Aaron Franklin's brisket cook on uh, on YouTube when we all reached out, bought the butcher paper, and started to wrap our brisket. Well, today's show is gonna be a little bit different. We are gonna foil boat the brisket. I am gonna call this a chud umentary. Oh yeah, of course I'm talking about chud's barbecue. I'm sure we've all seen that dude cook. He is definitely a true pit master, and he kind of uh, shed some light on the uh, foil boat to me, and I want to kind of shed that light over onto you guys to see if this is something you may want to try. My brisket has been on for about four hours now. We will pop over there. We will take a look to see where we're at, and at that point when we do decide to foil boat it, I'll explain to you exactly what is supposed to happen and cross our fingers and hope that it does. So let's go over to the brisket. Let's check it out and uh, we'll bring you back in a little bit. All right, let's just uh, click back a couple hours. It is 5 a.m. As we get the uh, brisket ready for prep, get it ready for uh, to get out on the pit. Look, this is a uh, Walmart brisket. It is no big deal. This is no Wagyu or anything like that. And we're looking at about a 15-pound brisket. And look, all I do on these uh, cleanups is any silver skin I take off, anything hard to the feeling. If you grab it and it's hard, that's got to go, right there, so I get rid hard. of that. Anything kind of hanging off right there, I'll get rid of that. I mean, it's got to go. I'll throw some links down in the description if you really want to get a uh, technical of uh, cleaning a uh, brisket. But basically what I'll do is I'll trim this edge off. I am going to round the brisket off. You always want that aerodynamics of that brisket. You want a smooth, flowing brisket. Oh, yeah, you do. And look, all those trimmings I'm taking off, I will be doing a uh, kind of like a brisket burger video coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Again, I am just kind of aerodynamic that brisket up. Just kind of round out those edges. We got some uh, some thick fat right there coming off. We got a uh, little heavy there on the end. I'll trim some of that back. This is no big deal. Any flaps like that hanging off that has got to go. Now look, basically get the silver skin off and leave about a quarter inch of that fat cap. Eighth to a quarter inch I usually oh, like to leave on. This. Guys, I am going with a 50, 50, uh, 16 mesh pepper and also a kosher salt. I'll have some uh, some links down in the description under show notes for that pepper. And look, always start on the uh, bottom of the brisket. Your presentation side is up there. So you want to pepper that out last. <laughs> there you go. You always want the presentation side looking good. And that'll be my first cut right there. Look, let's jump ahead a little bit and get the pit ready for the brisket. All right, guys, look, we are four hours in, so this is a uh, first peek at the brisket. Look, I am going to spritz out with a little 50-50 uh, apple juice and apple cider vinegar. Chud doesn't spritz, I do believe, so that is up to you. And now, look, we know we have a little overcooking on the uh, bottom. No big deal. I'll kind of kind of monitor it, and we'll just kind of let it go. Said kind of, kind of. What does that even mean? Digging that color. Wow. Spray that bad boy down. Oh, man. 
All right, guys, look, a couple uh, points on the uh, cook here. I am running it at anywhere between 275 and 300. So we are going to run a little bit hot. We do have some, uh, some pretty major weather blowing in, so I definitely want to get this done. But anyway, man, let's let it go, and I'll bring you back in a bit. All right, guys, look, man, let me let you know where we are. We are about six and a half hours into the cook, man, and I can tell you it is brutal out here, but the brisket is definitely looking good. I'm going to get some foil down. I'm going to show you how to boat it, and then we're going to get it back on the pit. I am definitely digging the uh, definitely digging the color. Let me show you what we're gonna do here, and show you what the uh, outcome is supposed to be by doing it. Guys, real simple here. Just kind of both the uh, both the double layer foil around. Look, you want to protect those delicate edges, right? So you want the foil to come up a little bit and over the brisket but you do want to leave expose the uh, top fat. Let that continue to render down and build that awesome crust. And now look, that boat's also going to catch any, any, any drippings or anything that goes in the, uh, the bottom of the, uh, of the foil is actually just going to work on the flat sides. You know, that underbelly of the brisket is going to work under there again while you build that dynamite crust. Oh. All right, man, that is it. Like I said, about six and a half hours in, we're just going to let this baby run. We're like about 188, 190 in the uh, brisket, and she's probing pretty good. I'm hoping to get this done in another two hours. Guys, look, man, we are seven and a half hours in, and she is probing like butter already. It is also finished. Let's go in, let's take a look, and then we'll go from there. As we take it in close, you could see that, uh, how that fat rendered down, man. Oh, oh, man, yeah. All right, guys, look, so I'm just gonna lower the pit here, bring it down a little bit, let it rest inside the pit. I'll bring the pit down to about 160, 170. Like I said, it's cold, so she'll definitely get there. She'll sit there until it is dinner time. Then I'll get it on the board, then we'll slice it up and give you some closing thoughts. Right, guys, look, man, total time, start to finish, about 10 hours. The brisket is definitely looking good. Let me turn the cameras around, clear up this snow off the board, do a uh, quick slice, then I gotta get this bad boy in the house. Amazing color. Oh, yeah. I mean, look, she's got that awesome jiggle that we all want to see. Awesome color. We know that is our first slice there. That is where I sliced it out when I uh, cleaned up the uh, brisket. So we know that's the uh, proper slice. Oh, man. Nice and moist. And you could see t beautiful, beautiful uh, moisture, man. A little bit tender on the bottom there. You could see, but other than that, man, oh, pull apart perfect. Oh, yeah. We're going to go right at the seam, right down the middle, man, and you are going to see exactly what you're looking for.
So guys, look, as we close out this uh, video here, you definitely want to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. Oh, yeah. Guys, look, man, what could I say other than amazing? I mean, wow. It, it definitely has a, uh, you know, more crisp up on the, uh, on the bark, and that is a, uh, definitely a product of the, uh, of the boat. Uh, it, it saved the uh, bottom for sure. Uh, it's not that, it, it, it's a whole different brisket than it is wrapping in paper, man. It, it just has a whole different texture. It has a whole different feel. I definitely dig it. So look, man, I am just gonna plow out on this, uh, just one little taste test, man. Like I said, this on this whole video, it is freaking brutal out here. I got Molly right there staring at me. Quick taste test, quick taste test for Molly. Then we will take this in the house, man. I want to thank uh, Mr. Bradley Robinson, AKA Chud's Barbecue for the uh, boat method. I definitely dig it. I think it is something you should definitely try. Cheers. Here come the Chud, here come the Chud. Oh man. Guys, what could you say? Until next time, we will see you soon.